Hello everyone and welcome to the weekend reading part one. I'm doing this in a couple different parts. Yesterday was pretty crazy, pretty hectic and extremely busy, kind of like a little Armageddon with, with priorities and attention and energy. So I just want to get out the downloads now and then I have to go to a dental appointment, but um, then we'll pull some cards and then I'll upload another weekend part two, maybe like at the end of the day or something. And, and then, and then it'll be like a full reading. This one's going to be like a little short, itty bitty little nugget of a, of a reading. Okay, guys. So downloads, no intro, no outro for this insert. Someone's feeling it. Someone's really feeling it, feeling fully. You know how I always talk about how there's people that will um, compartmentalize, avoid and numb feeling it to heal it this person is but it's not like a bad feeling they're feeling love they're actually letting them this is someone who hasn't let themselves feel these kind of feelings or didn't know they had feelings or <laughs> or um you know something like that anyway so i wrote down my downloads on my hand and um this is just from yesterday so i really want to get it down so but you know before they all wash off so the first thing this person's feeling so in love. It's like they they were just like overindulging in in like the pain of the past and feeling sorry for themselves. I wouldn't hold that against them. This is you or someone you're connecting to. And they said, live the good life with me. That's how they're feeling inside is live the good life with me. Like I want to live the good life and I want to, I want you to live it with me. And I want it, I, you know, I'm like ready for like the but it's, it's, someone's like crossing the finish line or about to, okay? Hmm. Someone's realizing, oh, it's that madness song. Mad, mad, mad. That one. That's also why I'm wearing like the most very basic makeup, like eyeliner, like swishes of eyeliner. Sorry, I spat. And, and like lipstick. Um. He says in the lyric, oh, what is it? It's, it's, I realized I need your love, essentially. Whoa, my hair's crazy. It's, uh, he, re he realizes that he needs this person's love, la di di la di da So I need you in my life. Like, it's, it's just this realization of it. And remember, we're not talking about anything abusive. We're not talking about anything like victim, narcissist, empathetic, we're not talking about anything like that. So if that's what you're in, that's not this. This is something, <laughs> this is not that. Okay. I don't want anyone to rationalize bad behavior or rationalize abuse or like hold space for abuse or hold space for an abuser or anything like that. Like that's crazy. So, so don't, so don't do that. <laughs> But someone is realizing that they need like a certain person, a certain energy in their life. And it's actually eclipsing any feelings of self-sorry or it's, it's eclipsing all the character defects. It's like, I can overcome my pride now. I can overcome my immaturity. I can, I, I can overcome these things because, because the need for this person to be with me in my life and have communicate, that's so much bigger than what I was holding on to before and it's so much bigger than you know xyz put in your thing there so someone's going through that and and they feel good about it and they feel really really good about it they it's not like they're reluctantly letting go what is that like they're reluctantly letting go of this thing they're they're like letting it go like here have it take it i don't really need it anyway that's what it is oh alone time is really important I don't know what that means. Two psychos don't make it right. I don't know what that means. I did at the time I wrote it though. Maybe we'll come back to it in the, in the, in the cards. Um, because you had too many set... Oh, because you had too many setbacks is a logical fallacy. That's fallacious reasoning. To say, oh, because I had too many setbacks because this didn't work out that didn't work out so this isn't going to work out that's really bad that's like that's like someone being at the casino and saying oh i rolled five fives in a row i rolled five even numbers in a row five odd numbers in a row so the next 
the next roll has to be the opposite. It has to be an even number. It has to be a different number. It has to be this. It has to be that. Dice don't remember. Okay. That's a logical fallacy to think, oh, because it's always turned out this way. It's always going to be that way. It's always like with certain things. Okay. Take, I mean, apply that wisely, please. Don't just use that to further an illogical argument because that's not the point. It's fallacious reasoning. It's just reasoning that doesn't hold any water. Just remember, dice don't remember. Okay. Right out the gate. Did you see that? We got the star. We've got 11, 11, the four of staves. And then we have two, whoa, then we have two of swords. Stalemate broken. It's exactly everything that I just said. So someone was holding, holding back, holding themselves back, holding their life back is what it feels like. Is there anything else? No. Someone was holding their self, themselves back. Oh, I gotta keep an eye on the time. So if you got like any attention, I'm so sorry. Yeah, yesterday was just so, so much. It was just so much. So, um, so yeah. So someone was holding themselves back with, oh, insert your character flaw here, basically. But this particular person, indecision, stagnation, blindness, like literal, emotional, spiritual, maybe even mental and logical and intelligent blindness, where they just couldn't see, you know, this is all the energy and no direction. This is inspiration. This is direction. This is your North Star. Because what we have here is hope because there's light of the moon. You know, she's not, it's not totally black like the Ten of Swords. It's not a completely black sky. So I have hope for this card that she's going to put this, she could, she can un, she can take off the blindfold if she puts the swords down, right? So she has the, the, the ability. You have, you, you've had, you or this person has had the ability. You've had it, the potential. And so this is like actualized potential, realized potentialities, you know? When we're young, when we're youthful, we have ahead of us all of these potentialities, this potential, that potential, my life can do this, do that, and there's like hope. And, you know, one of the things that people tr get have trouble with near the end of their life or, or in older age is, is regret, is guilt. However, what you have at the end of your life are actualized potentialities, things that happened, things that, that went, things that did, things that worked, things that, you know, you have that to look back on. This person is, is about to live life in a big way. Like life is about to just, oh, this is the gate, the 1111. We did do, we did channel that November 11 thing. This gate is open, it's opened wide. It's opened wide open and it's because, and it's like healing, it's healed. I also feel like something with this, like whatever was holding you back or this person back from being able to do something like this, for some of you, it's as simple and solitary as just owning a home and having a foundation. Cause this is real estate. This is, this could be marriage, a celebration, a housewarming party. I, I see this gate and I see this open is it a bowery this open bowery on top that's that's like we we celebrate here like it doesn't matter what religion you are you know this is just happy things food the people you love and it's a party you know what i'm saying and it's a celebration and it's a spiritual thing you know what i'm so it's just and it's yellow and blue like these happy colors so very very thank you for giving me thank you for giving me the one and done reading simplicity with like the three cards that was that, that explain that perfectly explain all the downloads from yesterday. Okay, so and it looks like something pure. There's something pure that entered this person's life. This this purity is like the vulnerability of being naked. That's it's so clear with this. You've you are this person. There's an influence. There's an energy around you where you're being exposed. You have the exposure now to it's like it's seeped through like she can't she couldn't see it but she could feel it 
you could feel this working on you. It's not necessarily something that you would have seen right off the bat. It doesn't, it, it's not even that important. It's that this energy is in you and with you and around you and it's healing. You are this person that you're connecting to. Dreams too. This person could have had dreams that helped either uncover memories to process, then purge and then alchemize or dreaming of of how it really could be and then that's inspiring to break out of the stalemate like the self stalemate with themselves okay i think that's it yep that's it all right everyone i will see you i'll see you soon i'll see you later today okay guys take care bye